their TSMC, the $100 billion investment uh, on top of what they've already committed in the U.S. as well. How big a deal is this as you see it in terms of some of those things President Trump was talking about, U.S. security, uh, supply chain, etc.? Very good. Happy to answer. Before I do that, thank you for being here with us at MWC, the Qualcomm booth. Super excited to have you here. Uh, look, this is great news. We've been saying this for the past several years. We are one of the world's largest fabulous semiconductor company, which means we manufacture our chips with foundry partners. And more geographical diversification of manufacturing of chips uh, and more manufacturing in locations like the United States, it's great news for not only for Qualcomm but for the industry. This is good. It shows that semiconductors are important. It's going to be important for everything that has happened in the economy. Economic security means access to semiconductors. More manufacturing is music to our ears. So you're likely to get more of your semiconductors from U.S. now, uh, built Look, by TSMC? TSMC is a great supplier of uh, manufacturing for Qualcomm. They have a facility in Arizona. We already uh, have chips built in Arizona. The more capacity that they put, we're going to use it. Same way we've been using it in Taiwan, we're going to use it in other locations. All businesses now, Cristiano, looking at the, the state of geopolitics in the world with the new administration in the U.S. and, of course, the global trade situation. We've heard a number of tariffs on Mexico, on Canada, on China as well. Um, do you see any potential impact from these tariffs on your business? Look, we've been, we've been in this uh, technology business for a while. I think, you know, just looking at MWC, we're here. We've been here since 1987. And the... When I look at it at the macro level, we technology and especially mobile technology and all those other industry participating, it's a global marketplace. And the things that we're really excited about it, more than what's happening short term with trade, is really the macro trends that we see in the industry. We are at the right the beginning of a significant upgrade for AI smartphones. We're seeing PCs changing to AI PCs, cars are becoming computer. That's what's driving our business, not necessarily what we're going to see in the short term. But, but just in terms of the short term, navigating these headwinds, are you expecting any impact from these areas? It's hard to tell because uh, you don't know exactly how this is going to go. The interesting thing is we're big exporter of chips. We're not an importer of chips. We export chips. Uh, their chips are going to devices that are made all over the world. And it's hard to really know what is happening. We're just going to navigate uh, based on whatever the outcome is. Yeah, and just, just quickly on the China business in particular, Christiana, a huge business uh, for yourselves. The Chinese players have been doing very, very well uh, recently on the global scale, which is helping uh, yourselves as well. Are you expecting any potential headwinds to those Chinese Look, smartphone makers? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat what we've been saying through all those years. Uh, in the peak of geopolitics, uh, uh, and when you think about the U.S.-China relationship, our China business actually expanded, which is a function of Qualcomm being diversifying. We always had a big business providing chips to China smartphones, now China cars, China industries, China PCs. So what we do so far has not been the focus on a lot of the geopolitical disputes, and I think we probably expect that business to continue to be significant for Qualcomm. Right. Cristiano, we're here at MWC. Um, under your leadership at Qualcomm, you've been very keen to diversify uh, Qualcomm's business, and one of the new things you've launched is Dragon Wing, uh, a focus on the enterprise side for AI. Just give us a quick rundown of what that is. Do you like the brand? Do you like the name? Yeah, it's a fun name. Yes. <laughs> Look, I think they represent really where we are right now. It's, it's a new Qualcomm. It's this moment in time that our technology became very relevant to a number of other industries. And what Dragon Wing does is really, it's our B2B brand. And it's the brand of the Qualcomm technologies that transforming industries. You see, if you look at some of the demos and some of the products you see on Dragon Wing, you see a lot of industrial products across a number of different industry verticals. It's our infrastructure, it's our broadband, it's our network. And I think now it really encapsulates everything that we're doing. In the IoT segment, in the last quarter, we had demonstrated how much that's growing year over year in excess of 30%. And I think Dragon Wing is going to be the brand that's going to propel Qualcomm technologies to all those different industries. And, and how significant a business do you think this is going to be for Qualcomm in the future? It will be very significant. If you go back to what we said in our investor day, uh, you know, several quarters ago, uh, we said in the next few years, as we get close to the end of the decade, more than 
50% of Qualcomm revenues are going to be non-handset related. And that like kind of show really the contribution of revenue from all those other industries. We talk about $22 billion in non-handset in Dragon Wing in industrial is going to be a big component of that. Great, Cristiano, thank you so much for your time, taking all those questions.